A relay valve is usually installed on or near the axle or axles it serves, in this case, the rear axle. The valve requires a control or service connection to the delivery of the brake valve, a supply connection to the air reservoir, and delivery connections to the brake actuators. A relay valve speeds up the application and release of the brakes. It's essentially a remote-mounted, air-controlled brake valve. It applies or releases the brakes it is connected to in response to the control air from the foot valve. A typical and one of the most popular relay valves is the R12. It consists of a relay piston with an integral exhaust seat, the inlet and exhaust valve assembly, and various O-rings. With brake application, air pressure from the primary circuit of the foot valve travels to the relay valve control port, enters the small cavity above the piston, and causes the piston to move. As the piston moves, its exhaust seat contacts the exhaust portion of the inlet exhaust valve, sealing the previously open exhaust port. Continued movement of the piston unseats the inlet valve. This allows the supply air to flow from the reservoir past the open inlet valve and into the service portion of the spring brake actuator. When air pressure beneath the piston equals the service air pressure above the piston, the piston lifts slightly and the inlet valve spring returns the inlet valve to its seat. The exhaust remains closed. The relay valve is now in the holding or balanced position, and service line pressure is equal to the delivery pressure. The brake valve is also in the holding or balanced position. If air pressure above the piston is increased, as from a stronger brake application, the piston will again move in response to the added pressure, unseating the inlet valve. The inlet valve remains open until pressure beneath the piston equals pressure above the piston. Then the inlet closes and the R12 is returned to the balanced position. When the driver removes his foot from the brake, air above the relay piston returns to the foot valve and is exhausted to atmosphere. As air pressure above the relay piston decreases, the higher pressure beneath causes the piston to move away from the exhaust valve. This allows service brake air to return to the relay valve and flow out the open exhaust port. The brakes are now released. Here's service tip number three. Always replace a relay valve with the same or similar valve. Most service relay valves, including the R12, incorporate a differential or crack pressure. It's the amount of control air pressure needed to open the inlet valve of the relay valve assembly. The crack pressure must stay within plus or minus one PSI. The standard R12 has a four PSI nominal crack pressure. That is, there will be about four PSI above the relay piston at the instant the inlet valve opens. The R12 is available with crack pressures from the standard 4 PSI up to 10 PSI. Brake application timing can be affected with an incorrect relay valve.